Hey there, Alti Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Mega Man 4, Mega Man World 4, I guess. In the last episode, we beat all the beat guys and got the beat. And in this episode, it's time for Wily. <laughs> I, I, why is it so long? I was just mimicking it because I was like, oh, it'll probably take like five seconds. It'll be amusing, whatever. And it just kept going and I ran out of breath. I couldn't keep it forever. <sighs> I needed like an actual, like, I need to prepare for that if I was actually going to try and do that. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Wily's battle station, I guess, has missiles. Interesting. Take a deep breath. Ooh, Mega Man's straight sliding. Nothing I do hurts him. Beat. You hurt him. Yes, beat hurts it. Okay, I see. It only opens its eyes during very specific moments. So I was right in that, like, you had to, like, wait for something to happen. I'm probably going to die here, but that's fine. I... This is literally what this stage opens with. Open your eye, and Beat will murder you. Thank you, Beat. Okay, well, took a bit to, mo to figure it out, but... Got through it. Okay. So, if I die here, am I going to, like... Am I gonna spawn before that fight? I mean, I guess it's not the worst, the hardest thing in the world. Hello. We found you, Wily. And here's our Mega Man Killer! Oh, he just stopped. Alright. Where do I spawn? Continue. Okay, I don't have to fight the gate guy again. Alright, well, I'll skip through the cutscenes, BRB. Okay. 
Okay, Ballade. Did I say this guy's name? His name is Ballade, by the way. He didn't even use any of his bombs, and he still beat the crap out of me. <laughs> He's just jumping around. Uh, do I have to do the whole cutscene every single time? I mean, at least I'm here permanently, but it's still. Okay, I don't have to do this part of the cutscene, at least. I keep thinking I can jump over that. God damn it, and he stops! Didn't quite kill him. He made it out. Ray, and now we got these guys. They're just in Wily Castle. I need a little close-ups. All right. So, as far as the selection of the only five, uh, these are the only. The only Mega Man 5 representatives we're gonna get. Because if you don't know what actually happens in Game Boy Mega Man 5, you're gonna be in for a surprise. Um, but yeah, this is it. So, no gyro, no gravity, no... Wave... No Starman. So those guys are dead, just like Gus Man Bomb Man. Instead... I feel like of these guys, Napalm Man would probably be the easiest for me to take on. Alright. Napal Man. Okay. Not sure what that what lesson I learned from that is. What is going on? Hi, Proto Man. Cool. I, I, sure. I don't really know what's going on in this stage. It seems very alternate path heavy, which is not Napalm Man stage. So, what was going on over here? I can't go back that way. Doesn't let me. Well, if I get, if I, because like there's also four more circles. So you know the assumption is that there's four more letters to find. So I'm like cautious of where they might hide secrets and stuff. You know. This is really weird though, because like. This is not Napalm Man stage! Every other stage has been kind of pretty, like, you know... It's been pretty, like... Pretty faithful, is the word I'm looking for. So... I was gonna say, can I make this jump? I mean, th those platforms were in Naples, Man State, but you usually, like, ran away from them. They're being repurposed to an interesting effect here, but, like... The rest of this is pretty, like... Like, they're using some parts of Napalm Man stage, but the rest of it is, like, weirdly different, and it's... 
unexpected. I don't know. I, I like it, though. I don't remember how these missiles work, apparently. Shrapnel is awkward. Okay, well... Ha! Huh? Do have to get there from this side? Evidently, yes. But, here's the funny thing. I learned that I can do this. Which is honestly... Like, holy shit! I love that idea! It's such a simple thing, but like... Man, that's like a really creative tool. Like, it's so funny! How like... Cause like, I would, I've been watching Friend play Mega Man 4. And he got like, so disappointed by like, some of the limited use cases of like, a lot of the Mega Man 4 weapons. by like the limited use case of Mega Man 4 weapons. So just the vibe that like I had this idea about like well there's fire here, can I put it out with the rain weapon and it worked? I feel like that shouldn't be understated. That should be commended. That's awesome that it worked like that. It's just it's cool. Oh, that's annoying. That didn't hit me last time. Okay. Little less panic that time. I made it. I have a feeling that could crush you. I like this too, because this means that you can take the faster route, but if you fail it, you got that method of getting there too. This stage has been good so far! I'm like, I'm kind of reeling from this. This is a just, that was just a genuinely unique, fresh stage. It utilized Napalm Man mechanics, but like in unexpected ways. I'm, I'm in four. Napalm Man shouldn't be too bad. And if I need it, I have an e tanks. As expected, Napalm Man, not too bad. He seems intimidating because you know all the explosions, but like mostly like it's just a matter of jumping at the right points, which I suppose could technically relate to every Mega Man boss, but like you get what I mean. Like I hope at least. Like you, don't be on the ground when he does the explosions. Jump over the missiles, etc., etc. All right, well, we got the Napalm Bomb. Mega Man does not look at explosions. Rear brr brr erb erb. All right, we got an I. I don't know what this is gonna spell. Napalm strong on Stone Man. I feel like I'm about to start playing Woodman. Bow 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 bow. 
Uh, I should not, like, try and sing a completely different Mega Man song when this one's playing. Uh, right. Nunchucks. Excuse me. Yeah, weapon energy doesn't refill between stages for some reason anymore. But it does for deaths, which is just kind of a weird mix. I, I suppose it doesn't really impact things too much because you're probably just gonna die anyway. Oh, that's clever because of like these worked really well in Pharaoh Man stage, but now, like, they're here in Stone Man stage, too, and ow. Let's see what I was supposed to do there. And honestly, I kind of like it when that kind of thing happens, where it's like, you get through a pl The hippo is here now?! I mean, I guess it makes as much sense in Stone Man stage as it does in frickin' Ring Man stage. got rid of this thing's weakness to Toad Man. But whatever. It was less annoying. The annoying thing about the hippo has, is always just... The, the constant mashing to fight it. And I'm gonna have to fight it again anyway. BRB. And that's not my password. Look at that eeb. And that's what you're supposed to do there. And what I was saying is like, I, that's kind of what I like, is like, when you get to a thing and like, you realize like, oh, that's what I was supposed to do, and then next time you get there, you can do it. <laughs> sometimes there's like, reaction times, and sometimes it's just like, yeah. Alright. Any better weapon on this guy? Does right man weapon help on this? Evidently yes, huh, okay. It doesn't like actually stop the tippo from rising, which was the main reason why I was trying to use it. But it seems he seems to be weak to it, so. I'm still not seeing any letters. I think the Bright Stopper really only helps there for, like, eliminating the awkward, uh...
Hold on. Okay, so you can come back up. That's what I want to check. But how in the hell do you get in there? Because here's the here's the other thing is like I don't think Russia's in the game. But what else could even have an impact here? Is this ice? Can I melt it? I did that because... I just want to see if, like, there, there's something I'm onto here. Do you see what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to land on this guy's shield and see if I can, like, slide across there? Hell yeah! Okay! I... Was that always possible with these guys? I have no clue, but that's a... That's just creative as well. Only for an E-Tank, but still. That was worth the, the mystery and challenge. Because I was just like, what, what are you doing here? I mean, I, I was mostly doing it for a letter, but still, like... Neat! And now I know you can stand on those guys. Which, if you could do that in the original NES game, I never knew. If you can only do it here, then... So be it. The interesting thing, though, is I still not have found a letter in this stage. Ow. Okay, this time I made this jump. Might as well. Could have used that last time. Where is this letter? Not here. Just in case. I don't know which way is the correct way. This way seems more secretive, but I don't know. Keep expecting the up and downs. Well. Let's just see what's over this way. The L is over this way. Alright, I'll take the L. If I die to this, I'm promoting that restore point. <laughs> Ooh, 
Yeah. Yeah. I lost some pea chips, so in the end it kind of balances out. So also, now I'm really curious, what the heck is over here now? You can just keep going, so like... Just an extra life. Okay. We've learned, and I would have had two, and come back down to one anyway. It's just a patience tester. I mostly just don't want to fight the hippo again. All right. <laughs> Let's go use North America. There's probably a political joke in that. A very easy one. Stone Man, what the hell are you... On. Go away. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> that was a much more hectic battle than I would have expected from that guy. Normally he crumbles a lot more. And isn't nearly as, like, spastic. I think it's just the smaller screen size, and but he's still the same size, so it's just, like, there's less room to work with. Alright, we got the worst shield weapon in the series. We got Power Stone. Alright. Burb. Beb. Burb. Beb. Beb. Alright. I. L. Individual level? I don't know. Um. Alright. Charge Man's. Weak to Power Stone. I will probably just have this stage be the last one for this episode. Alright, we're still on a train. Which is weird because... I thought these were in, like, Wily's thing, so I guess Wily just has a train in his dungeon. Like, it, it's great theming and all, but, like, it doesn't quite fit now that it's, like, not... ...just a regular stage, you know? I had to know. It was a burning question deep down inside me. No, the more I think about the charge shot, the more I feel like it kind of hinders special weapons. Because if you can charge, usually that, like, adds to, like, the power strength of other weapons. Like, if something's just straight up... If you, if you have a charge shot that's strong, like, there's a lot of things that you kind of don't need to worry about as much anymore. Uh, certainly a weapon like Atomic Fire from Mega Man 2 doesn't mean anything if you can, if you could charge. I must find out. Never know.
No, the napalm bomb doesn't break that? Who's the other guy in the lineup? Crystal Man. I don't think Crystal Man would break that. Stone Man definitely wouldn't. Arrow Shot? They can't even fire it. Not the Ring Boomerang. That broke the stage. I doubt it's Toad, but... I'm not gonna be able to hit it. Beep? I don't understand, how... whatever. I tried. I failed. It's not just like a charge shot. Met. I'm experimenting with what part I need to destroy here. Yeah, I don't know. I The only thing I can really hope for is that whatever the letter is, it doesn't rely on understanding that. Check every single one of those ledges. Don't think I don't see this one. Okay, well. Just an E-Tank, but I'll take it. Maybe those blocks aren't destroyable, though? Ow. There's clearly something I'm missing, though. Not the Y, though. <laughs> that was a very easy Y. You... The question is, why is it that easy? The answer is, I don't know. You know what? I'm calling it there's a rush utility. Not a rush jet, just some sort of utility that helps you get these things, like a hornet chaser type thing. Because I have no idea how you're supposed to get most of this stuff otherwise. You can't all stand on, like, little shield dudes. Not bad, not bad. Alright, charge man. I hate fighting charge man, so I'm just going to use one of these. We keep getting them. Oh! Beat Wily. 
That's what I'm spelling. Okay. I guess I didn't need the E-Tank after all, but better safe than sorry, I would, uh, I would say in that regard. In that situation. I've only been live... live? I've only been recording this specific episode for about 20 minutes. I think I can go for the last Mega Man 5 stage, right? And we got the church gag. Yay. I'll be impressed if they can figure out how to make this weapon. Alright, well, there's Rush Jet. So, Rush Jet wasn't going to be getting me through that part. You know what? I've got a lot of pee. Crystal man. Crystal man. Home to one of my least favorite Mega Man 5 songs. I'm not even gonna try and bother dealing with that little guy. I've never been much of a fan of Crystal Man. So, as far as, like, last stage to end on, kinda gonna be awkward. That was a really weird transition. Alright, so when are we gonna need to deal with the Falling Crystals? Because that's kind of usually the worst part of... this stage in particular, I guess. Oh, ah, right, hi. Okay, ladder or to the right? Well, I can come back up here. So, this might just be an extra life route. Of course, the one time I don't make a restore point. <laughs> okay, I don't like any of you. This stage music being slower does not do it much favor. Already not uh, my favorite song, but like... It needs a higher tempo. Do I want to go this way, or what? Honestly, you know what? I'm gonna go for health. It'll be slower, but I can handle a bit of slowerness. And for a big health, that definitely seemed worth it. Okay. I thought I could just, like, ignore him. I forgot that, like, the way the crystal works spawns in that, like that. So, 
don't even get to keep all that big health, which is unfortunate. That did a lot of damage. But oh well. I'm sure there will be other big helps. You know, I wasn't really sure about, like, the whole... You don't respawn, res respawn with, like, weapon energy thing. But I'm also noticing that for a lot of these bits, it makes, like, health and energy pickup drop things feel much more worth it. Because, like... Because you're pretty much always going to need them, you know? Kind of hoping that that part of the stage wouldn't exist. Although they're dropping much slower. than on NES. So that definitely helps a lot. Can I have some health, please? Can I have some health that I can actually attack? God damn it. Attack? I don't want to attack my health. Well, we are ready. You know, at least I died to freaking death spikes. That would have killed me anyway, so the health didn't quite matter. And like, I see what they were trying to do there. They were trying to lead you to the left there. Which, honestly, not a bad call on in concept. Well, you know what, I can find out what's down this way. The alternate pathways are interesting in this game. It's the same room, but a lot easier. But I got an extra life for going that way? But what I've gotten for the other way? The other way was harder. It required Rush Coil to reach. Alright, let's just ignore the bouncy balls. Okay, I couldn't jump into the ladder there. Okay! That's kind of rude. Well, that was just... Impatience. Okay, BRV. BRV, in fact. Okay, this time I lived. Nunchucks again. Okay, goodbye. So what will my reward for doing that? I think that's just the end of that room. So that's where the two paths meet up. All things considered, I don't really want to deal with instant death.
I'm not really sure how to do that with just the Buster, but you know what? For once, I'll give it them credit, they made Stone Man's weapon useful somewhere. <laughs> I mean, it's probably not as tight as it looks, and you also have Rush Coil. I thought it was gonna stick around. I... God... Damn it! Crystal Man, why is your stage like this? I realize I've made a fatal judgment. Yeah. Crystal Man, your stage kind of blows? Man, the stage blows! I tried the other pathway this time, and it's just like, god damn it! Like, you gotta sit around and wait, and it's like, oh, okay, I'll jump now. Why am I here again? I'm so impatient. I hate this. This is an awful stage. Crystal Man, you suck. Okay, so that's how you do that without the Stone Man weapon, so that's actually not even bad at all. I was just overly worried for nothing. I'm going to scream, I'm going to shout, I'm going to let it all out! I, oh my god! Alright, I've been dying a whole bunch. So, I'm just going to pick it up from here, because I figured out how to do that with the Buster only. And here, you just gotta be patient, and move in the right spot, and not die. That goes down, and then up comes another thing. And would you guess, would you look at that, that's probably the very end of the stage. No, it isn't. Okay. I heard explosion noises. I wasn't taking any chances. Whew, the knockback almost killed me there. Okay. I never want to do this stage again. I'm making a restore point. I don't care. Charge kick on Crystal Man. I mean, I suppose it makes more sense than Wave Man. Considering Wave Man is a ground based roll up master who has ground based attacks. Okay, that was really garbage annoying. So, next time on Let's Play Mega Man five, uh, 4. Sorry, I mean, I was fighting Crystal Man. It's a, a reasonable assumption to assume I'm playing Mega Man 5, but no, this is Mega Man 4. So, that's it for NES Robot Masters. We got the Crystal Eye, and now I'm going to go fight the final stage or two. I don't know how long it's going to be. Let's see what I can buy. I got 130 PC. Sure. So next time on Let's Play Mega Man 4, uh, Ballade, and probably the end of the game. I don't know how long it's going to take. It might be like, honestly, 
future ult, you might decide that Crystal Man can be tacked onto the final episode more appropriately. If that happens, then I'll do fancy editing magic to put my intro here, and uh, the intro that I'm about to do, uh, at the start instead, so. Fancy editing magic. 